So here's the next NBA media segment that I'm going to be talking about. So let's get into it. So I'll say it, since nobody else has, the Aaron Fox is better than John Mohan. He's a smarter basketball player. Far smarter basketball player. Okay. Like when he goes to the rim, he's not always trying to dunk on somebody. Unlike John Moran, who's always trying to get airborne, that's actually what hurt his hand. Even worse. Okay? He doesn't think. I mean, I saw some of the plays last night, and some of those plays should have been dumped off for an assist. But no, he decided to go airborne, and then he ended up getting charged as a foul with the smart IQ of LeBron James being able to take advantage of that and help his team be propelled to get the victory. John Morant, he's dumb. And the fact that your leader is dumb, there's no way that they're going to get this victory. I mean, I think that it looks terrible that a seven seed is going to be able to beat the two seed. I think this team should probably put John Morant on the bench. I understand that he's playing great in terms of his numbers overall, and he's playing okay. But just for IQ-wise, I think that the team should be starting Tyus Jones and then have John Morant be that electric player coming off the bench that he normally is. Because in my opinion, I think it just looks terrible if the Memphis Grizzlies don't do everything in their power to try to win this series. I mean, they were the two seed, for crying out loud. Now, I understand that the Warriors are the sixth seed and they're potentially going to beat the three seed and the Sacramento Kings. But after what I saw from last night against the Lakers, I think that if the Sacramento Kings had gone up against the Memphis Grizzlies, the Sacramento Kings would beat the Grizzlies. Possibly in five games. Because De'Aaron Fox, he plays defense. Unlike John Moran. I mean, it's, it's never been heard of. The FBI is putting out an investigation for John Moran's defense. So that's why they're losing. Okay? He's all athletic, no skill at this point. I'm not trying to say that he doesn't have any skills, period. He does. But as far as his basketball IQ, he's not showing it. Now, De'Aaron Fox, on the other hand, he got that. Okay, I mean, he knows when to take a mid-range shot. He knows when to go in for a layup. He knows when to take the three. He knows that he knows that he doesn't have to take all the shots in the fourth quarter. He knows when to get his teammates involved. I mean, to me, the Aaron Fox and the way that he's playing, he played way better than how John Morant played last season against the Warriors. Way better. I mean, the Warriors, they were able to beat John Murray because of him not having the smarts to not want to always go airborne the way that he does. Okay? I mean, he ended up getting injured off of jumping so high off of a Clay Thompson three. He bumped knees with Clay Thompson. And then after that, everybody tried to blame it on Jordan Poole. But at the same time, throughout that whole season, what was John Morant doing? Falling to the ground, playing reckless. While De'Aaron Fox, on the other hand, like I said, making all the right decisions with the basketball, making it tough on the Warriors, playing defense. So... To me, I think that the Kings are coming. I think it's possible 
that next year they can end up being champions. Don't be shocked. I mean, they're still not out of this series. But as far as the Lakers and the Grizzlies, this series is over. I don't care if it goes to game six or seven. There's no way that the Grizzlies are going to win this series. And it's not even just John Morant who's dumb. Dylan Brooks, he's dumb too. They're both dumb. Okay? Dylan Brooks is out here getting ejected, talking all that trash to LeBron, and you can't back it up. I mean, LeBron James, he's shooting great percentages against Dylan Brooks. I mean, Dylan Brooks, he was definitely starting to build his name up in terms of popularity, in terms of some of the things that he's saying. LeBron James, he is old. He's very old. And he should be losing in this series. But he's not going to lose to you. Because you wonder why? Dylan Brooks is dumb. That's why. And the crazy thing is, Dylan Brooks, he was needed against the Grizzlies when they got blown out in game three. He was needed. Okay, but Dylan Brooks, he takes way too many threes. Okay, he fouls when he doesn't need to. So this is what's going to cost the Grizzlies. It's mostly Dylan Brooks and also them taking way too many threes, even though they're not really a great three-point shooting team. And it's too much one-on-one -on -one basketball when it comes to John Morant versus everybody. So I feel like that costs them more than anything. And to me, I believe that that's going to cost them this series. If John Morant doesn't step up and play just a little better in terms of his team basketball, there's no way they're no way that they're gonna win this series. So that's my perspective on this game and also De'Aaron Fox versus John Moran. Have a good one.